Hey, Alan, can you help me in the kitchen for a minute? Sure, Mac, I replied, following him, expecting him to help carry another case of beer or something. Great party, isn't it, Alan, he asked, fiddling with something in the fridge. Sure is, I agreed. It's going to be Jen and my turn at our house next month. Beth and Jerry's great idea to have a party every month, he continued, seemingly never having figured out what was in his fridge. That's right, Mac. Lots of beer, good food, and good company, and lots of beautiful young wives, ha, huh? he grinned, and he certainly wasn't lying. We were a group of professional couples in their 20s to 30s, with a few good-looking singles living in roughly the same neighborhood in Norfolk. Every month for the last year or so, we'd get together at one of our houses on a Friday night for drinks, food, socializing, and even a little dancing. Sure, I readily agreed, grinning back. It was summer, and the girls had done their best, wearing short dresses, tight jeans, and tight tops. Okay, it's hard to keep your hands off some of them, isn't it, wondered Mac. Not that it wasn't hard, and sometimes it was too hard, but it just wasn't what we were talking about. Nothing serious, you understand. Mostly just a bit of ass-kicking, right? Mac, I replied, not really wanting to go down that path. I assume you've felt up Angie's ass before, he continued, and if his previous comment had surprised me, this one shocked me, and for good reason. Angie was Max's wife, after all, a pretty little blonde with big breasts and a cheeky smile. She also had a nice backside, which I let myself explore a couple of times, but not too far, and she didn't complain. Did I have a problem with that? Tim seemed oblivious to what he was looking for in the fridge if he was looking for anything at all. And as men do, I quickly sized him up in case she complained to him, and he wanted to deal with me. He didn't bother me too much, so I didn't respond, just shrugged nonchalantly. Don't worry, you're not the only one, Alan, he continued to surprise me. But I wouldn't advise you to try anything else. I wouldn't, Mac. I hate him to assure him. You're my friend, of course, I wouldn't. I'm not the one you have to worry about, buddy, he laughed. That's how poor old Ted got that black eye last month. Angie side-eyed, it was definitely Alan. He tried to grab his chest and got himself in trouble. Well, that's right, I sympathized. It wasn't a big deal, but there are plenty of other girls here who aren't as picky if that's what you need. There are? I asked, wondering where this conversation had gone. Like who? I should add that I'd certainly let my hand touch one or two beautiful breasts over the past year, but what Tim seemed to be suggesting was outright groping half of them if you catch them in the right mood. Like who? I repeated. I don't want to get the idea that I'm trying to find out exactly who, intending of course to try it myself. And who the hell do I think I'm fooling? Mary Jones, of course, he replied, which wasn't a huge surprise. But among the other names he mentioned were Sandra Smith. Bloody hell, Mary's always up for it, and not just for a little pawing. If you haven't run your hand down her bra after five minutes, then you haven't tried. What will Mike do if he finds out? Side eye, he'll encourage her, you stupid bastard, Alan Mack laughed. If it was up to him, she'd be walking around in the garden with the whole gang and no outerwear. Bloody hell, I thought to myself. Looks like we're in a den of iniquity. And the worst of it is that I've missed it. But we've got to hang on if Jen found out about this. She'd explode if she found out I felt Angie's ass. She'd freak out, and how would she react if I interfered anymore? S, what to do? Mary, certainly not the worst, and maybe the best depending on which way you look at it, Matt continued to enlighten me. Really? I asked, not realizing that such a thing was possible in our little group without my knowledge. But then again, what could I know exactly? He grinned. If you want one of the girls to go out into the garden and strip to the waist, there's only one choice, strip to the waist, you mean topless? Sure, no problem, he explained. Try slipping your hand between her legs, and you'll end up with an even bigger black eye than Ted's, but if you enjoy squeezing, stroking the most amazing pair of breasts in the world, absolutely no problem. So, which wife should I choose, Mac? I almost pleaded with him, really pissed off that I was missing an opportunity. Come on, buddy, you're kidding. He suddenly became a little more serious. 
You may not have realized it right away, but you should know who I'm talking about. You must have snatched a handful of breasts from her and your day. I swear I'm not, Mac, I believe it. Who is she? You must be Alan. All the other guys here have some. I swear I don't have, Mac, I almost shouted in frustration. Tell me who it is, so I can join in the fun. Her name is Jen, Alan, and I can't believe you of all people haven't enjoyed her amazing hooters. But there isn't another Jen in our group, Tim, I pointed out. I'm not talking about any other Jen, buddy, he informed me solemnly, looking at me sadly. Jen, he really means, OS, I had no idea. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you're curious to see where this journey takes us next, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single update. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and kicking, and every like, comment, and share means the world to us. We've got plenty more stories, insights, and surprises coming your way, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.